case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a classic legal tussle over property rights, the United States District Court for the District of Minnesota was hearing a case in 1954, the United States v. Ryan. The focus of the dispute involved liens on real estate registered under the Torrens system in Minnesota. The root of the spat emerged when the defendants purchased a property, well aware of a U.S. tax lien on it. A legal challenge was mounted by the plaintiff, the United States, endeavoring to enforce the lien against the defendants, which the latter countered by arguing procedural laxity. The defendants asserted that the plaintiff had bungled in securing the lien according to the federal and state law. The cogent question regarding the validity of liens under the Torrens system fundamentally hinged on their proper registration with the Registrar of Deeds Office. However, the United States had flouted this critical requirement, leading to the foreclosure of their existing lien with the priority mortgage. After dissecting the merits of the arguments and reviewing the prevalent Minnesota property rules, the court disallowed the claim by the United States and ruled in favor of the defendants. The court underpinned its decision on the very essence of the Torrens system, stating that the United States' noncompliance directly resulted in the invalidation of their lien. This ruling underscored the Torrens title's indefeasibility, globally valid and irrefutable, six months past the proceedings. This landmark judgment manifests the absolute importance of adherence to recording mandates for establishing valid liens on registered property. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.